Welcome to Excel Major Trick number 1,323. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Major Trick 1,323 start or the finished file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Major Trick 1322, we talked about a backwards one-to-many relationship report we needed to calculate. And in that video, we saw how to do it in Excel Power Query and Structured Query Language. Now, I tried to do a DAX formula. And here's the long formula I created. And luckily, we hang out on an awesome online Excel team. And Patrick said, hey, how about this formula right here? This is a well-known formula. Anytime you need to take a filter from the many side and apply it to the one side. So look at that. Now let's remind ourselves what we were trying to do. Here's our two tables, student table, student ID, name, and GPA. And over here, we have applications. So we had multiple students over here with applications. And here is the major. We needed to, from our pivot table criteria, filter this table down to BI and pass that from the many side, that filter, back over to the one side, and then pick out just the GBAs and calculate the average for each major. Now what happens here is we're pulling the criteria from the major down to our pivot table. But this measure here acts only on the GPA column. So when we drag it here, it can't go backwards from the many to the one side. Now let's just remind ourselves how it normally works. This is the one to the many. You're certainly allowed in a pivot table to filter on the one and have that filter pass through to the many side. Here's an example. This is a different pivot table. We have a county major right from here, the applications, and we're simply counting. And now I have a slicer that's coming from the students table that is the one side. So if I select Sue, it has no problem. The criteria from this side flows to the many side, and we get our report. I can select another student, and boom. Ah, But up here, we're going to have to create a DAX formula to get that to work. Now let's see how this amazing formula here works. Now in 2016, we don't even have to have Power Pivot. As long as we've created a relationship, that adds it to the data model. We can come to our table and right click Add Measure. We want to call this measure, how about average GPA with major criteria. Now we're going to use the amazing calculate function. The calculate function can alter the filter context. It also allows criteria to flow into the calculate. And then there is a combination of what's happening in the pivot table and what's happening in the formula. Now our expression, I'm going to use the measure we already created, it was just the pure average of the GPA column. So it's average GPA from the students table only. That table is having a hard time seeing our row header criteria. But watch this. That's the filter argument. We can build some filter here that will change the filter context. And how do you do it? Well, guess what? We're going to use the entire table applications. now. Applications and the student table have a relationship. So now if we put applications, the whole table and filter, this criteria will flow into the applications table. That will be filtered, which in turn will propagate back through the relationship and filter our calculation. Close parentheses. That is amazingly simple. Click OK. And now we can drag this down to values. And look at that. There is our calculation. So much easier than the way I tried to do. I tried to explicitly compare columns. Now let's review what we did here. There's a one to many relationship. Student is the one side. Applications is the many. Filters in a pivot table normally flow from the one side to the many, unless we add the many side table to our DAX measure as a filter and calculate. Remember that the filters can't automatically flow from the many side to the one side unless we do that. We use calculate because that can alter the filter context from the pivot table with new filters. Calculate can also let the criteria from the pivot table flow into the measure. We use this formula right here. 
because we have a table as the filter. The row filter from the pivot table can flow into applications. That's, for example, in this cell, BI flows in and filters that table. And so this is what it would look like, the step before the criteria in the many side flowed over using calculate to the students table. Now the students table is filtered, and our average calculation is correct. Man, I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks, Patrick, for bringing to light this formula, a well-known formula for getting criteria from the many side to apply on the one side. All right, we'll see you next video.